I feel like a lot of people have this idea that you can't grow your channel through vlogging. So it's been a year since I started vlogging. I always wanted to start, but didn't know how to turn my boring life into interesting videos. So in this video, I'll be sharing my top tips and tricks that I've learned to help grow my ordinary channel and hopefully help yours grow too. back to another video loving this breakfast combo i've had it for the last few days and it's my new favorite thing egg whites turkey bacon not anything crazy or exciting but it gets the protein in and i'm all about my protein game right now but welcome to another vlog i wanted to do a little bit of a different video today i just had this inspiration so i've been vlogging for almost a year or over a year now probably i realize that a lot of people that want to start vlogging often think there's not anything to vlog about because your life might seem boring and I'm a perfect example of that my life I would say on paper is pretty average pretty boring but I think there's things that you can do to make your vlogs interesting and to make the content of it you know seem more exciting than it might actually be I'm not saying I have the most exciting and interesting vlogs but I think I've come a long way so I'm gonna take you guys through my day in the life etc but also talk about about certain things and certain tips. So I'm about to have my breakfast and as you saw, I was literally just making my breakfast, but I think things that can help make the tasks that you're doing more interesting are around how you capture it. So I don't have the fanciest camera. I do use the Sony ZV-1. I'm not gonna talk too much about it or like my editing and stuff. I wanna save that for a different video, but I have a video about the Sony ZV-1. So it's not the craziest. You can literally film with your smartphone. Like all smartphone cameras are such high quality nowadays, but you can do things that make what you're showing seem more engaging and actually make people want to watch it and just like the type of shots that you can do being more creative with that is always fun i want to eat my breakfast so badly but i was watching some editing on a previous video i was chewing and talking at the same time which i really don't like to do so i'm gonna like try to eat and then tell you guys what my story is a few moments later always very sad when I have no more coffee left. So I just wanted to sit down and address a couple things. Quick tip first is I do like to sit in front of a nice big window when I'm doing sit down talking parts to my vlogs which I've been doing a bit more lately but I like to do it in like smaller doses. Having good lighting is absolutely key. I much prefer having natural light so wherever there's a window even though it's really gloomy outside just having some sort of natural light makes a big difference. So that's a quick tip. In terms of vlogging, I feel like a lot of people have this idea that you can't grow your channel through vlogging and I mean, I'm not a huge YouTuber but I think there is something special and unique about vlogs that makes it different from other types of content. I know everyone's on TikTok and shorts and reels and stuff but those are such short videos that I feel you don't really get a full story across. So my thing, and I'm sure you've heard it before, is having some sort of theme, some sort of idea and story that you can tie your vlog together with. I think people call this like idea based vlogs but I've seen such a difference once I was able to figure out how can I tie things together in my vlog so that it's not just like random things. That's kind of what I started doing when I started vlogs because honestly I just wanted to make some videos and I just wanted to get started but then at a certain point you realize the likelihood that someone's going to search for a vlog or click on a vlog that's about a day in the life, walking my dog, taking my dog to the vet, getting groceries, going to the gym. Those are such random things and not to say that my vlogs don't have have random things in them and a lot of vlogs do have like different pieces of someone's life but the way that you package it all together I think has to have that unified idea that's gonna make someone more likely to click onto it and watch it so examples that I've done are things like my travel vlogs which is pretty simple because like I'm obviously going to travel and that's an easy way to package things up or if I want to show like what I'm eating or my gym routine it could be like a health and fitness related vlog or something like that or just cleaning up 
up making an idea based vlog around productivity and cleaning and tips for cleaning stuff like that so it's just like a really subtle shift in how you're titling and how you're thumbnailing and then also once i have like an idea for example this is an idea where i am vlogging but my theme is around sharing tips and advice that i've learned just having that as my focus so that every time that i am filming something for this vlog i'm thinking back to how it relates to the theme of my video that's one of my biggest tips because not to say that random vlogs don't work sure they can but it's a bit harder to get people interested if they don't know you and don't know what you're about etc the next thing is the storyline of your vlog and this is an easier example of that because the whole point is you want to have people continuing to watch having a hundred people click your video but everyone leaving after five seconds is not gonna get you very far so what is it that can help someone want to keep watching and wanting to find out more about what's gonna happen there's a few things I like to do like if I would mention at the beginning for example I'm gonna do XYZ later on or this is a really easy way because I'm gonna be talking about tips and advice for the theme of my video which is around how I'm vlogging so naturally the hope is that people who are watching this would want to find out what the next tip is and so on and so forth so whatever theme is going on in your video having that progression is also really important so that it's not just like jumping from one thing to the next and then like people don't really know what to expect to happen through the vlog and the last thing which goes back to why I think vlogs are a great way that you can still grow and also why people still watch vlogs is the opportunity to show your true self being yourself showing your personality everyone has a personality everyone's personality is different I highly encourage you to be yourself I feel like sometimes I'm not the most energetic and my energy levels definitely change I've watched some of my own videos where I start off like here and then I kind of end up down here and then I get back up to there and that's who I am but what's more important than my energy level is the fact that I'm at least being myself and also coming across in a way that's comfortable in front of the camera and communicating clearly and stuff like that which sounds like a no-brainer but when I first started to try to vlog it was kind of awkward I was kind of like how do I make this natural and what am I supposed to say like am I just going to explain what I'm doing it felt awkward the best thing you can do for this is just practice and just to get more familiar with it I still look at the viewfinder sometimes because I feel like you know I just need to see what is happening on the camera it's still something that I'm trying to work on but I've seen a big difference and how I'm able to be more of myself and that's ultimately what I want to share with you guys and that's a window into my life and a window into who I am and my personality. I don't think I have the most interesting or exciting personality at all but it's the only one I got and I'm not going to try to be someone else so whoever you are, whatever your vibe is, make that clear. I don't think it's worth trying to just put on a certain type of personality but also it is important that you're coming across in a way that would actually make people want to keep watching because it's like oh okay like she's comfortable she's like talking through things and I want to hear more of what he or she is saying that's kind of the goal of it I hope that makes sense those are the main reasons why I still really enjoy to make vlogs and I'm still working to improve every video that's all you can really do speaking of videos I'm actually gonna go and finish editing my previous vlog it'll be up by the time that this goes up it's gonna be a post vacation reset type of vibe it's been two weeks since we got back from vacation it feels like ages ago to be honest which is pretty sad I just need to sit down, put my head down, and get some editing done. While I'm editing, I got this pack of mochis. I love mochis. I got it from H Mart. If you don't know, H Mart is like this Asian grocery store. I think mochis are one of my favorite snacks, but they're really squishy. My boyfriend hates these because he's really not into the texture. So it's like a little squishy ball, but these have bean paste in them. If you've never had it before, you're probably like, what the hell is that? But I love these and I literally ate this whole pack in the last two days. It snowed quite a bit last night.
not had bubble tea in a hot minute and I gotta say it just always hits the spot. Cha time. I think it's a chain that's around most places but it's my favorite personally. Anyways, had my optometrist appointment today or my eye exam. I got my new prescription so this eye is a little bit worse. I think I tried on about 30 pairs of glasses but I'm really really excited about them. So they're gonna take a couple of weeks. That was my big adulting thing for the weekend and now I'm finishing up my bubble tea. Something that I think I've kind of learned is around when people talk about showing instead of telling. I think it's a combination that helps bring it together in even some of my favorite vlogs from other people that I like to watch. The best ones I think are when there's a balance of someone showing something and also helping with some subtitles or like narrating it through voiceover, whatever that is, to help explain what's going on. You know, you can be doing your dishes, you could be walking your dog, you could just like show clips of that, but what is that actually adding to the story and why is it a part of the vlog? I think there is still some value in talking about things even though that's not like everyone's preference. I enjoy hearing what some of my favorite people on YouTube have to say about things that are happening in their life and it's kind of the personality that they have that I think is still relevant. It kind of helps to have a combination of that so like if I'm talking about a product that I really like then having a picture of it pop up so that it's not just me talking about it is another way to show and tell or when I'm talking about something that happened popping that clip up just as like a b-roll so that my voice is still talking at the same time also helps with someone visualizing what it is that you're explaining the other thing that I've learned or realized you don't need to show every single thing I personally record everything anyways because I feel like you never know just in case I want to include it in a video but if you're gonna follow some of the other tips that I've kind of shared around picking a theme and making sure there's that flow around your story then sometimes the things that you record or some things that are happening through your day or through your week don't necessarily need to be added if it's important to you obviously include whatever you want but i've realized that if i want to make things more centered around a certain idea then sometimes it's best to not include every single thing it definitely helps to go in when i'm editing with the mindset that not every single thing that i recorded or thought was interesting in the moment needs to make it to the final video again this is just my preference of the things that I think make other videos more interesting, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I'm like out of breath right now. Also, yes, I'm wearing the same sweatsuit. I had it on yesterday and it's so cozy, so I'm wearing it again. I don't really care, but we're just gonna hang out for a little bit and then tonight we're gonna go watch Creed, the third one, and I'm really excited because first of all, Michael B. Jordan also love Jonathan Majors. He's been in a lot of recent stuff like Avengers, big Avengers fan. The movie's not until 7.30, so we're probably gonna get dinner around the theater. I don't know, just have a nice little date night, you know? Even though it snowed like crazy last night, it's actually pretty much all melted, so I'm pretty glad. Are you ready? So we took an Uber over to a cute little restaurant bar called St. John's Tavern in downtown Toronto. My boyfriend suggested it. We'd never been here before. We ended up getting a couple of drinks and I got a sandwich. I really tried to do a shot of me eating it, you know, to be the whole vlogger that I'm trying to be. And this is what I ended up with. Literally a screenshot of myself trying to take a video. Of course this happens when I'm trying to do a video like this. But I left it in here so that we can laugh about it. We walked over to the movie theater. I took the escalator like a fat ass. My boyfriend took the stairs. We got hella snacks, enjoyed the movie. It was a perfect date night. But that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out other videos from me on the screen and I'll see you guys next time.